Hey there, Cancer. Welcome. This is Renee, and this will be your May 2023 reading. So we'll take a look and see what is going on for you in May. Okay? So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to take a look at love and money and what other general messages come out. Uh, we'll also take a look at what's challenging you this month and get some advice. Okay, now I will be pulling a fortune oracle, so stay tuned to the end when I give you the extended meaning for that. And I'll be pulling your angel number. Okay, so stay tuned for the end. Okay, Cancer, let's see. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so I feel like when it comes to romance, whether you're connected or not, my beautiful Cancer, stay optimistic, keep yourself in a positive, high vibration, and as long as you're in that high vibration, good things are going to come to you. They're going to be drawn to you, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look and see what is going on with Cancer's money. What do we have for Cancer's money, please? We have be bold and make the first move. So if there's something that you've been thinking about doing, Cancer, if there's something that has been on your mind that you've been wanting to start, now is the time to take that move. You know, just get something out there. Just put something together. If you want to start a business, test the waters. You know, see if you're going to have any takers for your uh, service okay if it's starting a YouTube channel or starting something similar to that you know go ahead and just do it you know the faster you do something the faster you start something the faster you're going to get results okay and I feel like May is going to be the most opportune time for you to start okay we have the number eight the dragonfly have confidence during this time of great joy Renewal and connection to spirit. Okay, so like I said, stay tuned to the end and I will read that the extended message for that card. Okay, let's get into the tarot. What do we have for cancer? First of all, we're going to take a look at love. Let's do it. Give me a message on cancer's love life during the month of May. What is going on with Cancer's love life in the month of May, please? A message. Message for Cancer. The month of May, 2023. Okay, we have the King of Swords. Okay, we have the Three of Swords. Wow. Okay, more messages for Cancer, please. More messages for Cancer. What is going on in May 2023? Okay, we have the two, excuse me, the Page of Cups. We have the page of, wait, nope, that's the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, and we have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles are both in reverse, okay? At the bottom, we have the Queen of Swords energy. So I feel like... If this is a love interaction, I feel like you and this person really need to talk. You really need to speak your truth. Someone needs to tell you something. Something is going to come out or be revealed. Okay? Someone, this king of swords wants to deliver the truth to you. Right? Um, I feel like it's going to bring some discouragement. 
Okay, there is going to be some discouragement here. But your overall energy, you have a love offer or an apology. So if you're currently in a relationship, I feel like your significant other may need to reveal something to you. Okay, but there is an apology. This person is very apologetic, you know, um, and they just want to get things off of their chest. You know, this is for you or the person that you're dealing with. If you're not dealing with anybody at the moment, I feel like you've been alone for a very long time and that's leaving you discouraged. But I feel like there is a love offer here for some of you. Um, there is someone who's offering you some kind of um, offer to date, to go out, to get to know each other or so forth. Okay. Now for the... Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like, you know, with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, someone really wants, someone may be very obsessive, you know. There may be someone who is, maybe with this love offer here, someone is kind of obsessing over you. They're thinking about you a lot, you know. Um, but I feel like you cancer you're kind of feeling like you're not even seeing what this person is doing okay you have a lack of desire as to even notice that this person is obsessing over you this person may be looking at your social media they may be looking at your you know um other medias or maybe just watching you from afar from a distance okay uh, but i feel like someone is very interested someone's actually trying to show a great interest in you and I, I feel like at this moment you may be concentrating on your career on your money on other things maybe you're going to school you know, you may be concentrating on other things and you're not even noticing that this person is, you know, really taking a strong interest in you. Okay? Because I'm not sure if they're making it obvious to you or not. You know, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups. Excuse me, that's the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, you may not even notice this person. You may have a clear head, a clear mind at the moment, and you're not even noticing. Um, you may have just let this person go. You may have just walked away from this person, and this person really wants to communicate with you. It very well may be someone from the past, someone who still holds an interest, right? Right. But I, I feel like you have your intentions on other things. You are, you know, making your mind up that other things are more important than whatever this person is doing in the background. Because I feel like, and I, I simply feel like you don't have any interest that you're moving forward. Right? Uh, you may have left this person behind for one reason or another. You know, because we see the Eight of Cups here. You know, so you walked away from this person or you walked away from this energy. You just said that you you really don't have time for it. You don't have time for that nonsense, right? So let's go ahead and let's take a look at your finances. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and clarify. See your comments. And get some advice. Okay. Messages for Cancer's finances. What do we have in the month of May? For Cancer's finances. What do we have in the month of May for Cancer's finances? Message for Cancer, please. What's going on for Cancer in the month of May? Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. 
Okay, for your overall energy, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. We have the Tower in reverse. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, the Knight of Wands in reverse, for real? And the world in reverse. Okay, so the only one that's upright is the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you're working really hard, Cancer, during the month of May. Um, but I feel like you are not wanting to change a certain situation. You are kind of avoiding this change at all costs. Because we kind of see the tower in reverse and the world in reverse. So whatever the situation is, it could be some money issues with you. And you really are kind of avoiding changing a certain situation. I feel like maybe you could be overspending in certain areas of your life. And I, I feel like you've become kind of accustomed to it. You become very comfortable in whatever you're spending your money on. And you're really trying to avoid making any changes. But you see that... By putting in a little bit more effort with your finances, you'll be able to save more. You'll be able to make more money. Now, this could also be a job that you really enjoy doing, but you really don't want to lose. You really don't want to leave this job, but you may have another opportunity that's just ahead of you. Now, that message is for some of you, okay? But I feel like there's definitely some kind of activity that you're doing that you definitely are trying to avoid some kind of change from happening. And you, you are kind of resisting moving forward. Okay? We have the, the Four of Wands energy in reverse. You know, maybe you feel like there's something that is making you feel like there's a lack of support, like you don't have enough coming in, right? You don't have the full amount that you need to make ends meet, okay? Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, you're working hard and you're being persistent, you know? But I feel like when it comes to this Seven of Pentacles energy, it, you, you're really needing to put a little bit more effort into building up your Pentacles. You know, I feel like you're kind of satisfied with where they are now, but you can actually be making more. You can actually be spending less so that you have more in reserve, right? Um, and I feel like that's something that you really don't want to pursue at the moment because maybe you have too many bills or maybe you have too many responsibilities, you know, but I'm, I'm letting you know that if you look at your finances, if you look at your finances more clearly, you may see opportunities to grow your reserve. Okay, there's always an opportunity to grow your reserve, even if you don't see it at the moment. But right now, I feel like you're, you know, not really wanting to take that action. You may be doing a lot of impulse spending at the moment, right? Um, and that you can actually kind of withdraw yourself from kind of get away from doing that. You know, it's time to move forward. It's time to move forward with your finances. Heal your finances. You know, um, start saving more. Put some money in a reserve so that you have that for a rainy day. You know, and I understand that you may be in your comfort zone when it comes to your spending, but being out of your comfort zone for a little while will actually give you the savings that you need at the moment, you know? Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at your challenge. Then we'll go ahead and clarify. 
So what's going to be challenging Cancer in the month of May? What's going to be challenging Cancer? What is their challenge? Okay, the Eight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. And the Hangman. Okay, we have the Six of Wands at the bottom. Okay, so Cancer, what I see that your challenge is, your challenge is actually letting go of things that you know really don't serve you, you know really isn't, really aren't bringing you pleasure. Maybe this is in love, maybe this is in finances, maybe this is in your life in general. But there's things that you're holding on to that you know are not serving your highest good right so it's time to go ahead and follow your heart follow your intuition when it comes to this situation and get a better perspective you know this is a time to be enlightened about the situation because i feel like looking at things from a different perspective is going to bring you a lot more success a lot more um, influence a lot more uh, guidance see we have the Six of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. So this is going to bring you a lot more support, stability, and happiness, right? And then you'll be able to really pursue something that really gives you a lot more support, really gives you a lot more stability, and um, may put yourself in a better situation when it comes to your life in general, you know? Um, so definitely... This is going to bring you more stability. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some advice for cancer. Let's get some advice for cancer. What should cancer do to overcome this challenge? What should cancer do to overcome this challenge? Messages for cancer. Okay. The Queen of Swords. Open yourself up to communication and ask for support if you need it. You know, and I feel like being honest with yourself and with the situation is going to bring you a total transformation. It's going to totally transform the situation and also bring you spiritually into a, a situation to where you will be able to win. Right? Um, the Five of Swords, this is, this is, can be the card of winning at all costs, you know, and I feel like by, you know, being honest with yourself in the situation, also maybe getting support or getting some advice when it comes to what is putting you into this situation is going to be very helpful for you right the three of cups this could be a card of friendship connection community you know getting that guidance being around your soul tribe okay um but i feel like you know by getting that guidance that advice you are going to totally transform your situation and you're going to be in a better position you know you're going to become more organized you're going to be able to um, be more spiritually guided, you know, by using your intuition in the situation as well, you know. Um, okay, let's go ahead and clarify for cancer. Okay. Okay, hey, Spirit, give me a message for Cancer. Why is the King of Swords and the Three of Swords here? Give me a message for Cancer. Why is the King of Swords and the Three of Swords here? The Five of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Well, Cancer, okay. There's something that needs to come out. Like I said, this is a truth that needs to be revealed, right? 
and I feel like if this is a person coming forward, this person has a desire to reconcile the situation, to start over, to have some kind of new beginning, to make it better than before, okay? To provide more value and more stability to the situation. So if this is a person, this person wants to fully uh, commit to a situation. Now we do have the Three of Cups in reverse on the bottom. So I feel like there may have been some kind of isolation. There may have been some kind of separation between you and this person. Or there may have been a lot of gossip between um, some kind of friend area. Right? There may have been a lot of words spoken. Um, maybe there was a lot of uh, silence um, after this gossip or isolation, the separation. You know, but this person is lost without you. We have the Nine of Pentacles. You know, this person is lost without you. They, they're they like in this dream world where, you know, they need this to be revealed or else they just can't move on. They just can't um, see being without you, right? So and I feel like this person really wants to reconcile the situation, okay? So give me a message, Spirit. Why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? And why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Pentacles in reverse? The Lovers. Yeah, someone's not taking any action because they're heartbroken. They miss you. They love you. You know, they can only see themselves with you. This person is going through healing. Okay, they're they're trying to figure out which way to go. You know, they just want a new beginning. They want a second chance. Um, Cancer, they, they want you to recognize that whatever they did, they're apologizing. They're very sorry for the way that they acted. And now they want to just clear the air and start over. Okay. And yeah, that they feel they feel lost without you. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse in the Hierophant. This may may be someone that you were engaged to, someone that you're married to, some kind of separation that you're going through. Um, but this person is very distraught. That they, they feel like they can't move ahead without you accepting their apology. You know. Um, they feel like there's no moving forward. Like they just can't gain any balance. Okay. This person may have been being stingy or there might have been some kind of power, um, might have been some kind of power back and forth you know but i feel like this person is very apologetic you know they want to tell you that they're sorry they want to give you this apology and hope that you reconcile with them that you listen to what they have to say okay because they really want to deliver some kind of truth to you they want to let you know how they feel yeah that they, they feel like you know, you don't even see them anymore. You don't even notice them. You know, they can't even focus on what they need to do, what they need to say. Because this person is so distraught, you know. The Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Swords in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse. You know, um, yeah, this person is very distraught over the thought of losing you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Cancer's money situation. That, that may be due to the situation here, actually. For the, for the Four of Wands and the Tower in Reverse, we have the Star. So I feel like something is going to be recovered. You're going to make a recovery in this situation. Okay, 
So you will kind of rebuild your finances during the month of May. What else do we have? What else, Spirit? The Hermit. And I, I feel like you're kind of moving away from this spending time alone or spending money alone, right? Because um, I, I, I feel like, you know, this may be emotional spending that you're doing. You know, you may be spending money because you're sad, you're heartbroken, you're discouraged. You know, that may be the time when you really need to watch your pennies, when you really need to watch what you do with your money. Because you feel some kind of rejection so you tend to spend more money during that time instead of putting your money where you know you need to and uh, focusing on you know building up your savings saving your coins you know investing you know and it's time for that restoration okay so spirit give me a message why is the a Knight of Wands in the world here in reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands in the world here in reverse? The Strength card. Yeah, you know what you need to do to build up your finances. You know. And I, I feel like you're going to be moving forward on that. You do have the Strength card and the Page of Wands. So... You know exactly what it takes to, you know, bring your finances back into order. Okay? And I feel like there's just some impulsive spending going on with this page of wands in reverse. You know, there's a feeling of not knowing which way to go, you know? And if you feel like you don't know how to make the first step, get some advice. Get some advice so that you can move forward into a better position because you have that ability, you know. Um, you may feel like it's kind of impossible at the moment, but you do have that ability, you know. You do have that, that ability to do that. But I feel like there is this negative energy that you need to overcome. There's some kind of addiction that you need to overcome when it comes to your money, your finances, and your spending. Okay, so yeah, take a look at that, my lovely Cancer. And of course, uh, take it as it resonates. If this doesn't resonate with you, don't accept it. It's not for you. But if this message resonates, you know, put it into action. Okay, so let's go ahead and get an outcome for my lovely Cancer. Let's get an outcome. For the month of May. An outcome please. For the month of May. Okay. So we have the. Ten of. Excuse me. The seven of wands. The nine of pentacles. In reverse. And the temperance in reverse. Okay. So. Cancer. At the bottom we have. The Eight of Pentacles in Reverse and the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Two of Swords. So there's definitely some kind of situation. There is going to be some choices that you need to make. There is going to be some rebuilding. Um, there is going to be, you know, taking action. You know, you are going to have to take action on your situation during the month of May, whether this is in your love, your finances, or in your life in general, okay? So there is a need to take action, to move out of this defensive energy, okay? You may be feeling very defensive right now, you know, you may be standing your ground or trying very hard to maintain control, okay? But I feel like with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse, you feel like there may be some kind of lack of resources. Um, okay. You may feel like you just don't have enough at the moment. 
you know, and you just don't have the patience to keep pushing on, you know, but that is exactly what it's going to have to take is patience. You're going to have to take the patience to take the next steps to, you know, make the first move. Okay, that goes back to that, to making the first move. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the dragonfly. What does the dragonfly mean? The number eight for cancer. Okay, the dragonfly. The dragonfly represents renewal. A deeper way of living is opening up for you as you become incredibly more spiritual in your outlook and understanding. Your intuition will be stronger, your dreams more intense, and your messages from deceased loved ones through dreams will be uplifting and beautiful. Your aura will become electric. This card also symbol symbolizes change. You may find yourself in new perspectives on what you want in your future life. There will be time spent soul searching and walks down memory lane can help make some life changing decisions. Have confidence you will be a force to be reckoned with. Okay, your personal relationships there will be good news concerning your relationship and innermost desire or newfound faith. Your intuition will guide you towards a like-minded friendship. Old friends from the past may also return. Reunions loom large and family celebrations are in store. These will be unenjoyable and may even be filled with some incredible secrets that could completely change how you feel about certain people. Okay, your career and money. There will be a constant change, but you will accomplish your goals with ease. Self-doubts about your future will disappear and newfound strength and confidence will shine through. Remember the dragonfly represents adaptability. Call upon your power of the dragonfly whenever you feel stuck and can't make a decision. Life will be like a roller coaster at times. You may experience many twists and turns as well as thrills along the way. Know when to take a break from the ride so that you can avoid burnout. Okay, and your power tip. Wear a dragonfly necklace or place a charm on a key ring as a reminder of exciting times ahead to bring great joy and enhance connection to your true self okay so that is the true meaning of the dragonfly so my lovely cancer let's go ahead and get your angel number see what we have for you okay so cancer your angel number is 1111, intuition. I love this number, Cancer. I really do. I love this number, 1111. This is the most angelic number of numerology, okay? Trust in yourself. Your inner whisper is working hard to let you know that it is guiding you. Listen in. What is it saying? Feel it. Where is it telling you to go next? See it. Close your eyes and allow. Trust the path that you're on. Your affirmation, my intuition speaks to me and I listen. I trust that all things are happening for a purpose. Okay, so my beautiful Cancer, this is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, take a look at your other placements. They may be speaking to you more at this time. Okay? And um, until your next reading, my beautiful Cancer, many blessings to you. Love and light.